Hey what's up guys, it's Jake here and this is Bundesliga Team of the Season Predictions. I've also done it for other leagues so if you want to check that out I will leave a card in this video. And let's start off with the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper is going to be Jan Sommer from Borussia Mönchengladbach. He has been one of the best goalkeepers in the Bundesliga for the last couple of seasons, carrying his team a lot this season. He has kept 12 clean sheets in the league which is second most in the Bundesliga this season and he has also made a whopping 110 saves in the league. And in terms of his team of season card, since he's got multiples of informs already, we are looking at a really high end card and it's gonna have some nice stats as well. So moving into the right back spot, there's going to be none other than Joshua Kimmich for second season in a row getting a team of season. And he is the definition of a modern fullback, you know, 12 assists in the league so far, he also scored 2 goals as well, another solid season for a German fullback, he's got a 95 rated team of season last year, I'm thinking he's gonna get something similar to that this year and it's gonna be once again a decent recent card to use. And one of the two centre backs is going to be Nicolas Suda from Bayern Munich. One of the consistent centre backs for Bayern this season. He has clearly outperformed Mats Hummels and Jerome Boateng over the course of the season. And he will probably get a similar card like last year. And he will even get into the team of season most consistent as well. And Willy Orban is the second centre back. Probably the best centre back in the league in terms of average rating and stats. 7.4 out of 10 for a centre back is really impressive. He's also scored 4 goals and he's got an inform as well, so his team of season should be somewhere around 90 weighted mark and it's gonna have some decent stats. And for the left back spot, I've gone with Marcel Halsenberg at Leipzig. He has had an amazing season, 3 goals and 6 assists and an average rating of 7.5 in the league is really really impressive. He's got really good stats and his team of the season should look really really nice. It's not gonna be a high rated card but it definitely will have some really good stats. And moving on to the midfield, we got Axel Witzel, probably one of the signing of the season in the Bundesliga. Many doubted him after his move from the CSL, but he proved them wrong big time. Controlling the midfield area alongside Thomas Delaney for Dortmund and also scoring 4 goals in the process in the league. And his team all season, the Belgian link is going to be one of the crazy good cards. And, uh, and Dortmund as a team are going to get a lot of plays in the team all season and I'm really excited to use some of them. Another midfield maestro is Thiago from Bayern Munich. He's a very important player of Bayern, 2 goals and 6 assists. He's not a great tally but without him, Bayern do really struggle in the midfield. And he is a crucial player in their setup and, uh, and his team all season card is going to be highly usable one. And next we got Marco Royce. What a season, I mean, what a season, 16 goals and 8 assists for Dortmund, just falling short in the end in the league title. His team all season card is gonna be crazy good, you know. It's already got like 3 player of the month card, which is already insane. His team all season is gonna be so good, it's gonna be either 98 or 99 rated, I would personally like if he gave him a 99 rated card. It's gonna be so great man, it's gonna be one of the expensive cards as well. So Jalen Sancho is another player from Dortmund and what a player he is for the future, you know, absolute gem. Solid year for the English winger, 11 goals and 14 assists this season is some crazy stats for the young player. And he's gonna get a really decently high rated team of season card and it's gonna have some really good stats, you know. Comparing him to Raheem Sterling team of season card could be really fun. Bundesliga really doesn't have a lot of good wingers and that's where Togan Hazard comes into the lineup, you know. Solid season for Hazard, 9 goals and 9 assists in the league so far. He's a really versatile player, can play on the right, left, he can also play as a central striker as well and he has done so well this season and I think his team all season card is going to be a decent one you know. And moving into the striker it's a bit of a controversial one. I've gone with Robert Lewandowski again. Another 20 plus goal scoring season in the league for the Polish striker and 22 goals and 7 assists in the league this season. If only he was more clinical he would have run away with uh, with like 30 plus goals this season you know. He has been a little bit inconsistent this season but I still think he's gonna be in the team of the season. And once again, this team all season is going to be a really high rated card. So moving into the subs bench, we got Peter Gulatsky from RB Leipzig. RB Leipzig is the best defensive team in the Bundesliga this campaign. He has kept 15 clean sheet and also made 90 plus saves for them this season. And defensively all season he has just conceded 27 goals, you know, that's a crazy good stat and uh, Steam on season card is not gonna look crazy but it's gonna be a decent card and it's gonna be well deserved in my opinion. There are not a lot of defenders that had good season in the Bundesliga, especially the centre back spot. So I've gone with Manuel Akanji. He has been really good when he was fit, and really sad that he missed out a lot of games to injury. And otherwise, a solid season for the Swiss. 
if he gets any more season card, his stats are gonna be nuts. Da Costa is an ex player who has enjoyed a breakthrough season for him with Frankfurt. Two goals and four assists in what has been a great season for the German fullback. Since he doesn't have informed cards this year, his Timo season, if he gets one, is gonna be a low rated one. But he really does have some good stats in his card and it's gonna be a fan favorite definitely. So Philip Kost is playing as a left wing back, has been in excellent form for Frankfurt this campaign. Six goals and ten assists and also five man of the match in performances in the Bundesliga this season. I think it guarantees him a Timo season card and once again like da, da Costa is Timo season card is not gonna be high rated one. But he definitely does have some really good stats in my opinion. Maximilian Eggerstein has been one of the consistent midfielders in the Bundesliga this season for Werder Bremen. Great two season for the end German midfielder. One of the few Werder Bremen players that deserves a team all season along with Max Kruse also I think so. 5 goals and 3 assists is his attacking tally and this team all season once again is not going to be a high rated one but it's definitely going to be a, a decent one. And next we got Kevin Dibnerbe, one of the best central attacking midfielders in the Bundesliga this campaign. 4 goals and 8 assists in the league and, is, uh, and he has also got 6 man of the match performances uh, and he has the best average rating for any of the midfielders in the Bundesliga this campaign and once again since he's got a couple of informed cards his team of season card is going to be pushing 90 plus and it's going to be a decent one. So Havertz, the young German sensation has rocked the Bundesliga with 15 goals and 3 assists at just an age of 19. You know, it's a really big deal. His team all season is going to have some really nice stats and it's definitely going to be a fan favorite one. And with 4 star skills and 5 star weak foot he has, it's going to be a really good card to use. And the next player we got is Andre Kramaric from Hoffenheim, plays a lot of different positions in the league. And he's got 16 goals and 4 assists in the Bundesliga. And his team all season is not going to be uh, crazy looking but it's going to be a really deserved one. And moving to the attackers we got Luka Jovic. Insane season for the Serbian. 17 goals and 5 assists in this year. The season so far a lot of teams won him next season. And, uh, and his team all season card and team all season stats is going to be on fire. Sebastian Haller having scored 14 goals and 9 assists and an average match rating of 7.7. .7. Although he did not get a single informed card or a special card in FIFA, so it's going to be probably in the most team of season most consistent, and his card is going to be a decent one. So Paka Alcazar is another one from Dortmund, a fantastic super sub for them. Scored 18 goals in this season so far, 12 of it from the bench, and a lot of them after 90th minute as well. It has been so impactful for uh, for Dortmund, and this team of season card is going to be a decent as well. So the final player on the 23-man shortlist is going to be Yusuf Poulsen, would be a fan favorite card definitely in Ultimate Team, he's got a lot of special cards so his team out season is going to be a 90+, plus. and he has scored 15 goals and 3 assists in this campaign and his team out season stats are going to look really really good. So that's my 23-man shortlist for Bundesliga team out season, so let's move into the weekly objectives. And the first player I've gone with Castells from Wolfsburg, had a decent season, you know, keeping 9 keys in the league so far. His team of season card, i given him a 90 rated card, it's going to be somewhere close to that. I think his team of season card would be decent because there's not a lot of Belgian go good Belgian goalkeepers in, the, in FIFA, so I think it would be a decent one. So moving on into another player, we got Ibrahimo Konate, at just 19, he's one of the consistent players at the starting lineup for Leipzig. And which says a lot, you know, his base card being a silver, meaning his team of season will be a really low, a low rated one. And he's definitely gonna get some decent cards if he gets a team of season card. So, Duda probably has been the best Hertha Berlin player this season, scoring 11 times and assisting 3 more goals. And he has been really, really impressive this season, you know. Sadly, if he gets a team of season card, it's not gonna be crazy good, but it will be definitely a well deserved one. So moving into the final player in the weekly objective, I've gone with Kevin Walland, you know, finding form late in the season with 14 goals and 8 assists and he has been smashing it late in the season and I think uh, him as a weekly objective would be a decent card, you know, probably 90 rated card with some really good stats and I bet a lot of them would be interested in this card. So that's going to be the end of this video guys, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more content, I'll meet you in another video soon.